Have you ever been to somebody's house and it's too tidy? What does that do to you? I, I remember turning up to somebody's house one evening uh, as a couple with my wife, we were going out for a meal one evening and when we got there, it was just a little bit too tidy. It didn't take long before we realised that there'd been a row. Have you ever done that? Walking into the middle of somebody else's argument. It was a little bit too tender. And then he walked into the lounge and she just raised one eyebrow, one eyebrow, just a couple of millimetres. And he left the room and came back a few minutes later in a different shirt. That's how powerful is the power of gesture. And sometimes we can misinterpret it. The church is not too tidy for you or your children. But I can do this to myself. I can start to think that everybody in the church is holier than me, sort of more religious than me, somehow more deserving than me, and it's a big mistake. I remember when the kids were little, you know, if I made the mistake of shutting my eyes and praying and then looking up again, at least one of my children would be three pews away waving at me. And then I became super conscious of everyone around me and I'd be looking at my children going, <laughs> anxious about what everybody else is thinking about my parenting. Now here's the thing, I had the wrong idea about what holiness is. Pope Francis teaches us in his latest exhortation, that's a, a document he writes for us, and he, he says in his exhortation, it's quite interesting, he says, holiness is you being yourself. It's not what I grew up thinking. I sort of imagined that to be holy was to, to be like somebody who seemed more religious than me. St Paul prays that our inner self grows strong. Our inner self being the real me. My mum, when she was 56, she had a massive heart attack. It came close to killing her. They replaced her entire blood during the course of that operation and three days later she's trying to walk again for the first time. I remember sitting with her and one of the pearls of wisdom she gave me was this. She said to me, David, this wasn't an out-of-body experience. She just said, you know something? I realise somewhere in the middle of this pain that I'd spent my whole life worrying about what other people think. And then she added, I've realised now that I don't even know who they are. We're so worried and anxious to fit into other people's patterns that we forget that what God really wants for your child and really wants for you is that you come become completely who God meant them to be, that you discover your inner self, that you become real, the person who God created. That's holiness, you being truly, authentically yourself. So in this programme, we're going to help your children to discover who God meant them to be. It's worth it. And so, here are the questions. Mm -hmm.